One in every six people born in Ireland live outside the country. Many of these people who left the island of Ireland travelled right around the globe and influenced and shaped the world we live in today. EPIC, the Irish Emigration Museum in Dublin, tells the story of 10 million of these EPIC journeys. This lady, Christian Davis, uh, she joined the army to find, to find her husband. But obviously ladies weren't allowed to join the army, so she had to dress up like a man an and fight abroad. She took an identity, absolutely. Whether it's learning about Irish superstars like Saoirse Ronan and Colin Farrell, or lesser known figures like James Hoban, the Kilkenny architect who designed the White House. All the information is here at Ireland's first digital museum. There's little games and there's little like touchscreen pads that tell you a lot of information like letters and that Irish immigrants sent back home and stuff like that. Why do people emigrate? Why do they leave Ireland? Uh, because uh, famine, work and uh, probably more, more like money. And we learned a lot about uh, river dancing and that that's travelled all um, global and that a lot of people moved over to New York or America for a better living. To celebrate St. Patrick's Day, the team here at Epic is running a festival, which includes lots of free events. We're so excited about the St. Patrick's Festival. This is our very first one. We have lots and lots on. There are guided walks of the fabulous Docklands area. We have family treasure hunts every day over the weekend on the hour every hour. We have a talk from the Docklands Society. And of course, Epic is open from 10 o'clock every morning and last entry up until 5 p.m. each day. To find out more, visit epicchq.com.